This is the first video in a series of video tutorials on Neutron Drive. This first video is an overview of Neutron Drive and of some of its basic features. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll notice when you load Neutron Drive is on the left you'll get a list of files in your Google Drive. And you can click on those and look and discover what's in your drive. You also get a folder on the top that shows all the files that are shared with you if anyone's sharing anything with you. But let's go ahead and find a piece of code and open it. And you can see when you open it you get syntax highlighting that's based on the file. So if it's a Python file it will highlight like Python, JavaScript, Ruby, and so forth. Now that's all based on a file extension, so you want to make sure you name your files with the correct extension. However, if the highlighting does not get set correctly, you can always right click a tab, hit editor mode, and you can see there is a variety of modes in here, just about anything you can think of. And so we'll go ahead and change this to plain text for right now, which will turn off all the highlighting and you can see that changes your highlighting. So let's go ahead and change that back to Python. So now let's go ahead and make a change to the file. You can see as we're typing here it is auto-saving just like a Google Doc would. So now you might not be necessarily wanting it to save automatically since this is code. So let's go ahead and check out some of our preferences. So if we hit this little gear button, hit preferences, you can see you get a variety of preferences uh, to tweak your editor. Uh, a lot of common preferences like you'd see in any kind of code editor. So let's go ahead and go down here and turn off autosave. Uh, one of the other preferences that let's set right now is this default file browser view. Now if you're like me you have a lot of files in Google Drive or maybe in the future you're going to have a lot of files in Google Drive so we don't want to look at everything when we come in here. So I usually keep all my code in one directory I'm going to go ahead and select that directory and hit save here. So I just turned off auto saving and I also updated my default directory. And I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh on my file browser. And you can see that we now have a limited view of our Google Drive. Let's go ahead and try out some of these other features. Uh, one of the other big ones you might want to try out is your editor theme. So there's a bunch of themes in here we can try out. Let's try Solarize Dark. You can see that will update the colors that are used in our syntax highlighting and background. Alright, so let's go ahead and change it back to our text mate. So you can go ahead and explore all of the preferences there. I'm not going to go through them all, but many of them are similar to other code editors. So now the next thing we're going to talk about in this video is search. So there's a couple ways to search. The first you'll probably notice is up here, this quick search. And you can either click on that or you can hit Alt-Q, which will bring your cursor up there and you type in a value and hit enter. If you keep on hitting enter, you're going to cycle through all those terms. One of the other search mechanisms is your standard uh, control F or command F on the Mac. If we hit that, that will bring up a little dialog you can see to our right. And let's go ahead and do the same search. And you can see if we hit enter, it will cycle through. Uh, you also have arrows there on the side that you can go backwards and forward. 
Now if we hit Control F or Command F again, you can see I had typed in admin with capital A here earlier, and we can do a search and replace. If we hit this little replace button, it'll go through one by one, or we can do everything. So let's go ahead and hit all. All right, everything is now capitalized. And now since we did turn off that autosave earlier, you can either hit Control S or Command S on the Mac and save this file, or you could hit the Save button here. Uh, the last search I want to point out on this video is the file search. So if we click that, so if you're having a hard time going through your files in the file browser and you just can't seem to find it, you can go ahead and type in a file search here. It'll also show you your folders. So if you had set that code view, but you need to kind of open something that's not in there, you know, maybe once in a while, you can come open it here. All right, let's go ahead and just open that file. And that's it for the Neutron Drive overview. Thanks for watching.